So, we've called you guys, you gays, here for a focus group on beer. Uh, our client is Brewmasters, and they're looking for feedback on their line, Brew Bros. And uh, currently in the market share, Brew Bros is flailing in last place. So lucky for you, they want to rebrand it for a gay audience. Oh, so we can gentrify it and make it cool so straight people will like it. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's exactly right. Yeah. We get the gays into it and then, you know, uh, normal people will then buy it. So, I want to know, what are the gays into? Okay, well, first of all, we love being called the gays. Love it. Mm -hmm. The more you can treat us like a monolithic group of people who all think the same thing. The more turned on we'll get. Can I be honest? Sigh of relief, because I've been calling you guys the gays for so long. It's just, it's just funner. Is that a word? Yeah, it is. <laughs> In the gay language we speak. Well, I'm so glad we're all on the same page. So uh, I want to start this brainstorming sesh uh, with the bottle. Now, I know what straight guys are looking for in their beer bottle, but what are the gays into? Oh, well, can it be more, like, penis-shaped? More penis-shaped? Yeah, but, but uncut. Okay, I hear what you're saying, but that might be an added expense, but I, I hear what you're saying. Here's something. Can you um, put a dildo inside the beer bottle? Mm -hmm. Now, is that something that would be too big to fit inside there? Oh, see? You're sounding like a gay guy already. <laughs> uh, can I make a suggestion? Please. Instead of beer, can you change it to a mimosa? <gasps> I love that. I love that. Well, I'm, I'm not sure that's something- Why am I not seeing you write this down? My apologies. Mimosa instead of beer. I'm a slut for a mimosa. Oh, are you quoting my grinder bio right now? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's grinder? Uh, it's an elaborate system of tongue clicks. Fascinating. Well, this is, this is great. So let's move on to slogans, all right? So obviously I don't want to crowdsource such an important creative decision, but literally, please come up with a slogan for us. How about, I'm a gay slut for a mimosa? Or, slurp it down, homo. LOL. Love your biff. What, what, what's a biff? Oh, it's like BFF, but spoken out loud, it's pronounced biff. All this time, I had no idea. No, well, now you do. So, so what about places to advertise? Where do the gays hang out? Uh, you could try the white party. Mm. And the black party. And the red party. And of course, the blue party. And, and these are? These are parties segregated by race. So, so the blue party would be? Oh, have you not seen Avatar? Okay, what about celebrity endorsements, all right? What, what, what kind of famous celebrities are, are the gays inspired by? Oh, RuPaul, yes. mama. Yes. Yeah. Of course. You know, Stacy Keach. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, uh, and Alf. The TV show Alien. Yeah, where is she? What has she been up to? Dig her up, find her. Oh, and uh, Tom Bergeron? Oh, oh I was yeah. just gonna say Tom Bergeron. Oh, it, it, that, that girl. Her. From yes. the sitcom. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I can't think of her name, but she's great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's interesting because I have a list of uh, gay faves, and I have Jesse Tyler Ferguson and Neil Patrick Harris. No one with three names. Yeah, three names are out, hunty mama. Let me ask you over there. I, um, I couldn't help but notice that, that you're black. I oh. am? <laughs> I just want to ask you, culturally speaking, what is it that would attract a black gay man to our beer? Well, I wouldn't want to speak for my entire race, but I can tell you the most important thing that black men really care about is Lena Dunham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I heard about that. Yeah, we just, you know, sit around all day asking ourselves, are you a Hannah? Am I a Marnie? Which one are you, Biff? I'm Shoshana, duh! Oh my god, I knew that about you, but I just wanted to hear you say it out loud. <laughs> well, I am putting down what you guys are putting out, so this is great. Well, we all know celebrities come and go. So let's say we, we talk mascots for a second. Brew Bro has a cartoon mascot named Dave. Oh, well that's a problem. Dave. It's a gay slur. I am so sorry. I... Someone from a passing car called me Dave once. Yeah. I came. It's complicated. What if? What if we gave Dave a makeover? <clears throat> oh god, I'm sorry. What if we gave D-Word a makeover? How about we see more of his ass? Mm. But not too much ass, because that would be crass. Okay, that was a poem, and yes. 
Okay, so just the top part of the ass. Yeah, like the ass cleavage. Yeah, to preserve the mystery. Mm -hmm. So, so let me recap here, guys. What you're saying is you would like to see a beer that's actually a mimosa with a semi-nude cartoon mascot whose name we constantly bleep, advertised in commercials where Stacy Keach, Lena Dunham, RuPaul, and Alf hang out in an Avatar-themed party and drink from uncut bottles that have dildos stuffed in them. Did I miss anything? Am I getting this right? I would actually buy that. I kind of like it now. How did we get here? Do we just create a work of art? Hey, high five. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't do that.